one of the things that I've been watching and saw it's really fascinating is that your school district shifted and, and and you told me this before it's piloting right now for a few years to a four day work week. Mm -hmm. And I actually, I knew about this. I, by the way, and I asked you to write, I sent you some questions you wrote on my blog and then I got all these comments about how awesome you are. So good for oh, you. That's so nice. Right. Which is always nice. Like, you know, um, I, when I see people on social media and they like, say, oh, I'm moving on from my job and all the people congratulating them don't work in their district, but nobody in their district congratulates them. I'm like, oh, that's not, that's not. I look, I look at that stuff, right? And so um, I saw, you know, people from your district just saying how wonderful a leader you are, which is really, really nice. And, you know, and I, I'm sure, I, I, I don't get any, like, this is how I am on TikTok, but I'm totally different, you know? Yeah. Other than me being, you know, starstruck when I saw you, uh, <laughs> you know, a little celebrity sighting. Um, tell us about the the shift to the four day work week. Like, why did you do it? And like, what are you seeing so far with this? Because I know a lot of people are, are interested in it. Cause you know, it's not, it's not like you just like, Hey everyone, <laughs> guess what? You got Fridays off. It's not that yeah. easy. Right. So just talk about that. So during the pandemic, when we had the, you know, roomies and zoomies, you know, teachers <laughs> kind of doing both things, um, we... I've never heard that. Why, oh, roomies and zoomies? Isn't mm -hmm. that like dog treats? Like yeah. roomies and zoomies? Yeah. Isn't that a zoomie, yeah. like a dog treat or something? Yeah, like, like a dog toothbrush or something. Okay, all right. All Maybe right. you could get a sponsorship or something. <laughs> so, um, so it was, uh, we had that and we came back. I mean, teachers were just... I mean, this was a totally, you know, unnerving experience and I don't want to like drag anyone back to that time. But so we thought like, what can we do to make things better to give people time for planning? And we tried to separate and have virtual teachers and in-person teachers, but some were doing both. And mm -hmm. so we, um, we went to our community and said, would you be willing to let us release a half day early on Fridays to give our teachers more time to plan for the next week. And the community said, yes, absolutely. And so we did that, you know, half day, mm -hmm. half day, um, is we came out and just started seeing like the great resignation and people leaving and then getting to a point where in Texas, you know, almost 30% of, you know, new hires, not not certified and we know that you know the over half the teachers and leave within their first five years of the profession so we we have a system that isn't isn't working and trying to get to like why is that um anyway so we started talking with our staff about what we could do to attract and retain teachers because we have historically our communities had very high teacher turnover and um, high teacher turnover means worse outcomes for kids because you can't you can't move the needle you can't get traction about things you want to be doing unless you have a team that comes yeah. and builds sustainability right so um one of the ideas that we kept coming back around to is, you know, we're limited on what we can do with pay that's set by the legislature. So without some kind of, you know, funding increase from the state, that's not on the table. Um, and so one thing we can work with is time because in Texas you have to have 75,600 minutes, but there's no, um, no guidance on how those minutes are structured. Right. And so we started kind of with the idea of what would it be if we went to a four day instructional week, maybe our days are a little bit longer, but then that Friday, um, which is the day we chose to, to be our off day is really truly off. And, um, we started surveying our community. We had a, a team from a uh, people from all over our district, um, special education, fine arts, athletics. I mean, it is Texas, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, so all of the uh, academic leadership really thinking through um, what could this look like and what would it, it mean for us with the sole goal to recruit and retain teachers, knowing that we can't move the needle for kids until we, we do that. So anyway, that was our, the why. 
And so this was our first year. We took about 18 months to really think through, roll out, survey, build understanding about it with our community and board. And then um, this was our first year to, to roll it out. And so it's been really exciting. Um, and I'm exciting as we're starting the hiring season for next year, right. about what it looks like our retention is. Um, we're seeing gains in our academics, decrease in our discipline data, increased attendance. Um, so, mm. so right now, and we're going to be tracking those things. This is a pilot our board committed to for three years and, um, to see what the outcomes look like over those three years. And then, um, but right now, if everything keeps trending like it is, I think we'll be continuing and, I think it's given people like work-life balance, autonomy over their schedule. We've got a lot of people up here on Fridays, but it's like, I'm going up at 10 with no makeup on and my hair in a ball cap and taking care of what I need to do. So then I still have the rest of the weekend with my family. Right. Yeah. Mm. You know, so there's uh, something I shared years ago. It's risk is moving from a comfortable average in pursuit of an unknown better. Mm. And I guarantee that, I'm sure you heard this and I know other people will hear this as well. This won't work or this, you know, this wouldn't work if you do this. Well, what we're currently doing is not working. Yeah. So maybe we need to do something else. Right. And yeah, it might not work, but we also, we got some good data right now. What we're doing is not working. And I think a lot of times we will just stick with that, even though we, cause we're so scared of the unknown. 